Hello everybody! Hey, you say something, we do it. And today we are doing Say Something by Pentatonic. Someone recommend it down below and we're doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lee J. Over there is Stan. We do a lovely little reaction to the um, actual music itself. We have a look, we laugh, we play, we cry, we, we shock and awe. But at the end we do a review as well. Stick around to what, see what we've got to say about Pentatonic's Say Something. Yeah, especially Lee Say Something. Yes, yeah, say something. I'm saying something. I'm trying my best to say something. Now, what I'm going to say right now is support the original eyes, hashtag PTX or hashtag Pentaconics down in the comments below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Sports the artists. That's what it's about, getting their beautiful art and spreading it around the world. Let's get on with the show, Lee J. We got back with the cello. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Well, I'll tell you what, mate, there's beautiful things in the world and then there's say something by Pentatonix in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, Jesus Christ, that was, what a start. I mean, I like, I think we said it before, didn't we, Stan, with Kiss from a Rose and stuff like that. We're bringing the cello in, you know, maybe it's not such an acapella vocal group sort of thing, but hey, why not go out of the parameters sometimes and bring it in? And if he's got the skills and he can do it, why not? And that cello is suiting this beautiful song. Mitch and Scott at the back just doing that very high, uh, like a higher harmonic of the, the song to keep it up. But then Avi bringing that low with Kev as well. And then obviously Kirsten with her wonderful voice doing well so far, keeping that song alive and keeping it proud as well. What a beautiful song this, this is. Yeah, Kirsten on this lead suited it down to a T. That voice is so angelic, so beautiful, so in fitting with this sort of like sort of sad song, like along with like the cello and the harmonies, mate. And you know what? I'm glad they don't limit themselves to being a strictly, strictly a cappella group. And it's like, now we bring a cello in because the cello is going to suit well for this. And I respect the hell out of it when they do that. Mate, this is, uh, this is feel, like, feeling it in the heart, mate, and getting the chills. This is absolutely beautiful so far. I'm interested yeah. to see where they go with it. I have been looking at the audio thing, mate, because obviously with Pentatonix, we know they sort of uplift their songs towards the mm. end. We have not heard something so plain, like quite quiet and relaxed, right? So we'll see what happens. Mm. Sounds like a real drum set, doesn't it? Yeah. Tell you what, it is, it is proper beautiful, mate. Like I said, I, as we press play again from the last pause, I then slightly heard Kevin going like, like a yeah. sort of a very light symbol, wasn't it? Like, and then when he started the beatboxing, mate, you can hear it perfectly. And I, I got to mention Avi on this one as well. He just, it's only because I noticed it. It wasn't because he stood out or anything, but I just noticed that sort of low baritone voice that sort of kept the both sides of the song. Do you know what I mean? It's balanced. So you've got the high pitched voices coming from the top there and then at the lower part along with Kirsten doing the main vocals but oh, Avi well played there mate you you really did impress me 
I do what, mate. I think that's what I like about a lot of the, to be fair, a lot of the acapella Achoo! bands that's doing, right. but PTX is <laughs> <it's> not. <laughs> a lot of uh, like a lot of the uh, band like acapella groups do it, but um, PTX, yeah, definitely do it as well. Where it's not about like they're all big artists, all very talented, but it's not about each person getting the limelight, getting their part out, like they like Avi Scott and um, uh, Mitch just pr- providing that beautiful background harmony. It just fits and blends in so well. It's not like the central stage where you're focusing directly on it, but it's like it fits so well and it's beautiful. It makes the song exactly what it is. And so far, mate, this is absolutely outstandingly beautiful. And I'm a bit surprised we haven't heard of it sooner in our journey. Yeah, it was was not recommended to the recent comments that I spotted it. Say something. I thought, all right, we'll say something. Damn. It's very, very smooth that. You're the one that I love. And I'm saying goodbye. Mate, honestly, I just want to point out there. We've obviously heard like Mitch slapped and all that stuff, but what about Avi fucking kicking us in the face then with that voice? Tell you what, mate, like we have heard his voice in like Hallelujah and stuff, but what Avi just did makes me want to go see his solo channel a little bit more than we are. We're like, we are planning to, but we, you know, we get so much requests come through. Mate, that was honestly, that was amazing. That was the best I've heard from Avi. And I'm glad we come across this song. That was awesome. Putting that out there. Yeah. Yeah. Just a quick pause on this one because we're in the middle of a bit, I think. But hey, Avi, but I'm like, yeah. do I mean I love Scott as well, mate? I do. I, do I love them all, mate? They're all fantastic, mate. But mate, no, they're on to oh, all amazing. But Avi just really blew me away. Then. Blew you away. Blew you off. Oh, oh thank you. He <laughs> 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 was coming. He was coming. Be that one if you want me to say something oh god that please me i'm giving up on you i'll be the one if you want me to say say something i'm giving up for you oh well done What a special, what a special group, mate. Do you know what I mean? For review time for me, mate, I, honestly, Avi shocked me then, cursed it. Like, this is the good thing about Pentatonix, the fact that they blew up and they got Grammys and they they grew, like, massively as a group because each individual one of them have got, like, such special talent. Like, if each one of them went on to something like Britain's Got Talent, America's Got Talent or something like that, they would fucking fly for it because their voices, the things that they can do, man, are unreal. Avi shocked me then, like, because I haven't heard him, like, really really hit that tone um not yet anyway from the songs that we've done and cursed it mate 
that night is dance thing that we did just remind me how beautiful her voice is as well and then you know all of them together just had such a such, they had something to say they had something to say and that was i am pentatonics i yeah. am awesome what's up stan <laughs> <laughs> well, well well said Luigi, mate do i do actually have a negative point on this one from myself <laughs> I know, I know, but I am going to think about the positives to start with, mate. What I like, mate, is how it was a roller coaster, mate. Like, it started off really low here, like, so smooth and calm. And they brought it up, then they dropped it again. You fell right down, and we did that. Bum, bum, bum. And then they raised it right up again. I thought that was absolutely beautiful. Like, it was phenomenal work. The only thing that I would prefer, I really preferred the first half of the song when they kept it quite, because it was such a calm sort of spirit. So, like, I think there was a lot of change of emotion, which, is, again, it's just personally, that was like, I would have liked it like that. I'm not saying it wasn't great, Lee J. I can see you side eyeing me. I'm really not. I'm just looking at the camera. <laughs> Oh, side <laughs> no. But yeah, no, so I'm not saying it wasn't brilliant. It was opinion, brilliant, Stan. Yeah, personal opinions, and that's what we say. We say we do an honest reaction, and by God, do we stand by. But the song itself, the talent shown, like Kevin, I finished at the end as well. Avi, Mitch, Scott, Kirsten, absolutely beautiful. For me, I just like that, like that sort of calming atmosphere to it. Yeah. Because I was so calm, and I was, oh, mate, it was beautiful, though. And Gresh, definitely a great show of their talents, and it was absolutely phenomenal. So fair play to PTX. It still gets a thumbs up, because it was still a brilliant song, despite my thingies. And, of course, if you did enjoy this reaction, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscription and notification bell, unless I destroyed you by saying. <laughs> hey, we're all entitled to our opinions, and that's what highly reacted for you. And more importantly, that's what the comments are down below for. Oh, thank you. You've all got your opinions, I'm sure, as well, and you can leave them down below of what you thought of the song and what you thought of the group themselves as well. You can leave hashtag Pentatonix, hashtag PTX, or leave any recommendation for future songs. Thank you so much. Love you all. Man, love